hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and um, this is jay's vlog please do like subscribe and share and tell your friends as well to like share and subscribe we're going to be talking about lots of things today about stress how you handle stress everything that pertains to stress you know how it feels like to be stressed about the what, the how, and everything that pertains to stress. We all go through difficult times and it can be a healthy reaction to feel negative emotions when facing challenges. So what is stress? Um, according to the National Health Service in 2021, in sim simple terms, I'll just say, stress is the body's reaction under pressure. And some researchers have proven that stress can be motivating and help us achieve things in our daily life. But for me, stress isn't at all. It doesn't help me do anything at all. So, stress affects our relationships, body language and mood which can impact on our self-esteem. When stress can be handled, it can lead to physical, emotional, mental breakdown. Yes. And on these symptoms of stress, you can see the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and relational breakdown, which can lead to um, lots of appetite, cold, headaches. These are the symptoms you can get when feeling this way. So you have to understand it first for you to know what's happening to you. The first step is to understand that, okay, I'm stressed. So these are the symptoms, appetite change, colds, anxiety, bad temper, irritability and nevertheless the causes of stress vary from person to person so um, the symptoms person A will get when stressed will be different from what person B will get when, when stressed so um, what can trigger the stress probably maybe at work school home you know illness to make us feel stressed sometimes sudden event like maybe you're pregnant something happened to you this can result to stress and and they can have a great impact on our life and daily activities as well so now let's dive into possible causes of stress first of all i would just like to talk about experiences or rather upbringing Sometimes when you think about what has happened to you in the past, it triggers so many things, it triggers emotions. With that, you can be stressed as well. So, difficulties in relationships or personal lives. Unexpected or big changes like having a baby, um, I'll, I'll be talking about that sometime. Or starting to care for, care for someone very close to you, probably your brother, mother, someone really 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 close to you might be your child as well another one is moving houses so moving houses can really really be stressful and impact on our stress debt as well this this one is like i think everyone has actually been in this situation one way or the other it's really really draining let me start thinking about all the bills oh my god it's draining yes it really is so the next one will be the toxic workplace this one has a lot of bad effects because it reduces your work productivity and increases your stress oh my god so a toxic working environment can be detrimental to your physical and mental health um for instance your boss sets unrealistic expectations and wants you to um do something so fast and you know it's really unrealistic well that's a sign and um maybe um your boundaries also at work is not respected and you regularly think about quitting your job so you have to rethink this twice yeah so now we're going to be talking about stress management yes first of all like i said earlier if you're stressed either by your job or something more personal so the first step to identify anything or to you know feel better is for you to understand the cause of the stress understand what's happening to you that's the first step so like the most um, unhelpful thing you can do is to turn to something unhealthy to help you cope no 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 it's not good so this is just to encourage anyone going through stress in life there's always a solution to anything 
are keys to good stress management uh, building emotional strength being in control of your situation having a good social network and adopting a positive outlook these are the key now let's dive into professor Kari Cooper's um, stress strategies like what you can do to address stress first of all